Hey guys, welcome back to What's Up Wednesday. If you're new to this channel, I just wanna let you know that What's Up Wednesday videos are just me talking about what's up, so there's not gonna be any woodworking in this video. So if you're just here for the woodworking, leave now. And if you wanna stay tuned to hear about what I'm doing, what's going on, progress with all sorts of projects and craziness going on in my life, then stay tuned. Okay, first off, huge shout out and deep gratitude to all my brothers and sisters that participated in my little social experiment because it worked like a charm. Makita got a hold of me, both Makita Canada and Makita USA um, were banging on my door being like, stop with the Facebook comments. <laughs> oh man. Sorry, that got a little out of hand, Makita. I didn't, I didn't know that uh, I would just be berating your Facebook page to quite that extent. So um, my apologies, my intentions were only to get your attention and to elicit a response. Um, if there are any negative comments uh, from my viewers, Makita, I sincerely apologize. Um, and to all you guys that have just been going out there and on the war path for me, I appreciate it, but it's time to call off the dogs because mission accomplished. So what, turns, what it turned out to be was, you know, the classic personnel uh, it mistake of it just kind of got buried in um, whoever's inbox and they forgot to respond to my email. Which I completely understand because there's all sorts of emails that I mean to get back to and I just, you know, get caught up in the craziness of life and I don't actually do it. So no big deal, but we're back into negotiations and they want to work with me and they appreciate, you know, the promotion that I've given them. So it's great. Everything worked out perfect, and I hope there's no hard feelings, Makita. So I'm going to take down that free tip Friday video so that nobody else watches it and keeps hammering Makita um, because that would just not be necessary. But I think there's a really valuable lesson to learn here for everybody who thought that, you know, this was a terrible move. Sure, this move can easily backfire. And thankfully, I've got really good subscribers. I think most of you guys just left, you know, really good humored or, you know, nice, good comments, right? And so that worked out our advantage. But, you know, depending on your audience, this could actually go really negatively. Um, so I would suggest using social media um, to get answers or to, or to get the attention of large corporations. Just, it's a last resort. Um, always try and use, you know, email and whatever communication other forms of communication you have first, you know, just exhaust those to no end. And then if you're getting nowhere, well, social media is always there. And we know that it works because, because big corporations nowadays understand the power of the consumer and the individual, the power that they have through social media. And they are all bending over backwards to keep their clients satisfied which is great it's great for their business and it's great for our experience with their business so keep that in mind as you move forward in life as entrepreneurs and builders and contractors and whatever social media needs to be a key part of your business in other news i just finished uh, my last project which was an urn for my cousins who lost their daughter uh, and the project just turned out Flawlessly, I just, it was probably one of the most just rewarding and awesome projects I've ever done. And I will be releasing that video to you guys in the next couple of days here. And let me just tell you, it's a doozy. So stay tuned for that. <sighs> in other news, there's really not a whole lot going on. I just finished that project. I'm just about to start a new one. And I'd spent like the last day and a half just cleaning the shop because it was like a hurricane disaster mess in here. So I'm just enjoying the calm before the next storm of a project starts up. And that project will be the French doors for upstairs. And it probably start on the metal workbench as well. I just, you know, I'm kind of crazy and I like to have like multiple projects going at the same time so I can like pinball back and forth, back and forth. As I lose interest in one, I jump onto the other one. You know, kind of like one of those little cats chasing a laser pen sometimes. Except I hate cats. So, it's just a metaphor. Is it a metaphor? I don't know. I shouldn't use big words that I don't know the meaning to. 
Anyways, I won't. I went and bought this myself. Makita didn't give this to me, okay? I needed a tool to do some sculptural work and I had seen this. I didn't even know what it was. I was like, what the heck is this? It looks like a giant Dremel tool, which basically it is. Turns out it's called a die grinder. Um, it's, it's actually used for like metal work. I don't know, grinding dies, whatever those are. Um, and it comes with these like, ton you have to buy these tungsten carbide bits, which are basically like giant Dremel, like carving bits. But if any of you guys have used a Dremel tool, you realize kind of what a useless tool that is. It's so small, unless you're making like a carving like this big, it's really just doesn't cut it. Uh, but this sucker, this sucker moves some material. Um, you can actually, gr you can grind like aluminum and wood with these bits. And then there's also some bits that have finer teeth on them that you can grind and shape steel with, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, but I will say this works really well for wood. Um, I don't know what the RPM exactly is on this thing, but it's, you know, it, like any tool with just a crazy spinning bit on it, it has a tendency to run, it, it'll try and run away, or if you're in a tight spot, it'll get that little vibrato thing where it bounces between a couple surfaces. Uh, but if you, it, if you just get, once you get the feel for this thing and just the direction that it cuts, it's like, man, you can just get into some tight spots with these little, little bits and do some really fine work and take off a lot of material really quickly. So if you have any kind of sculptural projects or carving, you want to jump into some carving and you don't have a lot of time and you just need to remove a lot of material, I recommend one of these things. It's basically a Dremel tool on steroids. So check that out if you're into doing some power carving because yeah, die grinders, they work. So that was my unsponsored tool plug. Why? Because I love discovering new tools and new possibilities and I hope you do too. All right, hope to see you on the next video. Until next time guys, Samurai O. Don't forget to subscribe because this content's just getting better and better.